Hello guys, Jagweer Singh back with another video of Soybooks 2020 and in this video I will show you how to use sweep function or sweep cut function. So let's get started. So first of all you can see that sweep cut function is hidden right now, it's not highlighted because we cannot use it. In order to do that we need to have a solid model. So I'm just going to show, I'm going to make any sketch on front plane. Let's say I'm going to make a rectangle. Let's go with a center rectangle. That's better. I'm going to give any random dimensions. So five five by three inches. That's fine. Five by three. I'm going to exit out. All right. So click on seven. I'm going to go to feature extrude boss. Uh, I'm just going to have one inch. That's fine. Looks good. Decent enough. So this is just an example, right? So I'm just trying to show you how it's done. So sweep cut, you can see that it says that cut a solid model by sweeping a close profile along an open or closed path. So what it does is you can take a portion of a particular feature. So let's say if I want to cut a semicircle through it in a particular trajectory. I can do that. How? So let's say if I make a particular sketch or the trajectory itself on the right plane, control 8, and I want a semicircle which will go through this particular uh, rectangular block and somewhere something like this. Okay, now this three point arc, I would say one, two, and three let's see let me go inside this with this right here looks good i'm going to exit out so all right you can see that this is <coughs> this is basically the path that i want the semicircle to follow now i will make semicircle itself and in order to do that i will make a plane onto this particular sketch so I will make a plane right here. First reference is the sketch itself and second is the point right here. I'm going to click OK. I'm going to click on sketch because the plane is already selected. Click on sketch again. So it automatically selected that particular plane. Control 8 twice to make sure that you are on the same pace. And now if you want, you can just have a tangent arc or three point arc or whatever you want to i will prefer using three point r that's just my personal preference which looks something like this and right here you can see so this is the point right i'm going to coincide both of them i'm going to make it a clothes sketch because that's a requirement because we are trying to cut this particular piece and I'm just going to dimension it one. Looks good. And you can see with respect to that, it can go anywhere in the space for now. So I'm going to make these two pointers coincide as well. Alrighty. So this is going to be mid. So the arc can go anywhere right we need to make sure i mean it looks fine nothing wrong with it to be honest it's tangent now i'm going to show error yeah i mean you don't need to be fixed fully and this is how it's going to look like i want to cut this particular feature along this particular path so when i go there for swept cut when i click on it it says Sketch profile, circle profile, or solid profile, right? So we already have a sketch profile. You can see that right now it, they're asking to select the profile, which is this one, which is a close profile. And then they are asking for a path or a guiding curve, which is this one right here. And you can see it, it's giving us like how it's going to cut through it. When I click OK, I can see that there is 
basically a pocket but at an angle in such a way that if this sweep cut would have taken place it would have gone all through it similarly you can also use <clears throat> the same feature let's say if i suppress this feature for now and i'm going to use the sketch itself the, for the path i'm going to show the path and i'm going to use the same plane and i can also make any particular hole so let's say if i want to make sweep cut just if i know that i'm looking to make just a hole itself then i will choose circular path i will select the path itself and now i can make the diameter specific and you can see that whatever diameter i want to put i can and i click ok and there you go similarly sweep cut solid profile i never use it i'm not gonna lie so it says that select a solid to sweep along a path so like if you have a solid profile that you want to you could have done that in this case we don't have it i'm just going to try with the one that i already suppressed so let's say if i unsuppress this Will that make any difference though? Not loaf cut, sweep cut, solid profile, sweep cut. Okay. okay, it's not selecting, obviously, because we don't have any solid sweep another other than this particular part. So, yeah, these are the two main that we use. Either we can use sweep cut by circle profile and sketch profile just like i showed you in this video in the beginning so thank you for watching and subscribe to channel for upcoming videos and stay tuned take it easy bye